Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Libra. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get into the energy for Libra. Oh, we have transformation and change here. Arrival and departure, maybe even moving. Treating yourself, ooh, splurging, fine dining, doing things right. Okay, nice, I like that. Mmm, <laughs> overflowing abundance, wow. Fulfillment, chasing after something, emotional release. <gasps> Love, romance, joy, and bliss, woohoo. <laughs> Passionate, forgiveness, kindness, affection. We have light bulb, uh, aha moment, really. <laughs> a realization, epiphany, illumination, intellect. Let's see, what else do we have for Libra? Ooh, the well, deep meaning, okay. Hidden emotions, social resources, true feelings universe what <laughs> source infinite enduring eternal creation awakening the big picture law of one Ooh, we have a divine masculine here a love interest mm, a person you know we have clock perfect timing longevity past, present, and future, standing the test of time. Then we have the archer. Careful aim on target, go to guy or gal. Wow, okay. Uh, matchmaker. <laughs> Implement a strategy. Oh, whoa, whoa, wow. Okay, what do we have hither? Oh, we have baby, we have new beginnings, rapid growth, fresh start, new phase. Could be a birth of, the of a child. We have a bridge, community, or sorry, communication, <laughs> unite, connecting, collaboration. And then we have <laughs> Dear John letter, uh-oh. Rejection, cold hard truth, a breaking up, setting boundaries. Final word, cutting cords, something's not working. Okay, so, tornado, a storm is brewing, yikes. Torn up, a sudden unexpected end. A breakdown, over and done with, the end. Ooh, okay. And then we have Beginnings again, spontaneous, unexpected, new perspective, brand new. Okay, so I, it looks like here so far. Oh, and then we have the sun on the bottom of the deck. Yes, energy, <laughs> climax, fulfillment, divine masculine, victory, happy, and warm. And it looks like, it looks like things... Somebody has an aha moment, a discovery of some type. Somebody gets awakened here. And I feel like the love and romance that he felt was fulfillment here, uh, there seemed to be some deeper meaning, um, a, per a perception of something here that he seems to see the big picture here. Um, something's unstoppable. This is destined to happen. Wanting to go towards somebody here for a new beginning. But instead of, looks like communicating with somebody here for maybe a new collaboration, um, it, it looks like somebody's realized they, they're in love with someone else, okay? And as they're awakening, they're getting more and more of this energy and realization that something isn't quite what he thought it was. 
it looks like he wants a new beginning with someone and communicates with somebody here. And it looks like you may end up getting a divorce, um, an unexpected end uh, with somebody here in order to go to this new beginning. So it looks like you may have settled. We have Libra, we have Cancer, we have Scorpio, we have Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, Capricorn. So you could be any of those signs. Let's see here. What would I do before? Okay, let's, let's get some love notes. Woo, okay. So the transformation, sudden change, shocking news, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. We already have a transformation here. So it's kind of just clarifying that for sure that there is an awakening happening here. And we have here um, treating themselves, treating themselves, doing things right. I feel like he likes someone here, and it could be that a love call. He wants to talk with somebody here, so he may have contacted somebody here, wanting this. Yeah wanting to have this romance here, this paradise. And there's some type of discovery here. What is the discovery? Time with friends and ends up walking away from this person, has an epiphany or some type of, I'm not sure what that is. And then it could be that somebody here, um, is trying to change his perspective of this person that he really likes, this person he wants to be with. He's talking about moving on, and it looks like he gets, he's he's being strategic, he's not showing his hand, so he's, he's already had the aha moment here about maybe this perception of friends. So it looks like source or, Spirit is trying to get him to see the big picture here. And Scorpio is about secret, secretive, oh, about wedding rings, a union, soul connection, everlasting promise. So, and this has to do with this masculine here. He's awakening here. Yeah, and he's avoiding something here. Avoiding a conversation, a caller person. So it looks like he ghosts this person because of his friends. Or he puts on a show that's what he's doing. He may have ghosted somebody here, although he did want to marry them. Or maybe there was talk of marriage. Watching, looking, st stalking. I feel like he's still watching this person. There's a perfect timing here. Something that's unstoppable stands the test of time. So this may be somebody uh, from a past lifetime here. What's main, maybe not this lifetime, maybe a previous lifetime. Careful aim on target matchmaker. I feel like that's spirit trying to match these two up here. I don't know if everybody's cooperating. <laughs> no. Yeah, there's unconditional love here with spirit trying to be the matchmaker here. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passionate affection, and attraction. It's all here with the new beginning, but somebody was running from it. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, somebody sabotaged this. Instead of communicating, they sabotage it. They run away, they ghost them, they reject them. And so this Capricorn gets a rejection. There's a rejection here, Libra. Yeah, an ending. Relationship is over, no second chances. It looks like the Capricorn maybe just decided, okay, well, you ghosted me, you made your choice. And I feel like it's possible this, this person, this masculine, 
is now um, getting an unexpected end, maybe by the other person? Yeah, a breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandon. They abandon whatever this other person is. It comes to an end. So what's this new beginning? A new phase, a rekindle, a renew, a transformation, growth, and they change their mind. Wow, is it too late? Be lighthearted, finding out things come to light, adapt, change, and heal. So it looks like somebody might want to talk things over, and the sun is here. So this is a divine masculine on here, victory, happy, and warm. So somebody's going to come in, Libra. If you're not the masculine, um, then a masculine is coming in for you, Libra, that wants to maybe talk something over. Maybe they ghosted you in the past. Let's see. Let's get some love oracle here, or love romance, or romance angels. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> oh, wow, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. What else do we have here? Spirits. <laughs> okay, very soon this is coming in. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. We have engagement. Wow, this is going to be a quick moving. Let your friends help you. So you might end up cutting out some people here. This may be the feminine that gets friends to help them. Yeah, there's trust here. This situation calls you to have faith. And I feel like spirits got this covered. Past life relationship. I can't make this shit up. This is past life and there's lots of chemistry here. Like you've known each other before. Okay, yeah, there's a strong magnetic attraction. This could have spooked your person in the past. Maybe spooked them a little bit, scared them away. It says, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you and retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And I feel like this red flags, um, this could be someone else trying to get within this connection here. It may be spirit saying you may have to retreat from this energy and disconnect from this person. So let's see. Forgiving and learning here. And as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So nice. So you may need to use your intuition on whether you are to go or to stay. Hmm. Try connecting with your spirit guides and try to get an answer for that. Let's get the green cards. These are my cards that I did out. There's some nice sayings on there and let's see what comes out for this could be the one. What is this? What's this could be the one? Okay. You will eat the fruit of your words. Did you plant good seeds? So whatever you are speaking or writing, you're manifesting this quite quickly. It says very soon, tune into your higher calling. So there may be something you are meant to be doing with a masculine here, or if you're the feminine or vice versa. So we have for engagement, your choices may alter your existence. Choose wisely. Whoa. Let your friends help you. A new person in your life has failed to tell you they're already married. Oh, wow. What? Looking like maybe you're supposed to walk away from this person. Release limited beliefs that may be holding you back. So trust and have faith. Past life past life relationships, so addressing personal baggage to heal. So you may have to have a conversation with this person in order to address any past life relationship that you may have had with this person to heal it. Uh, let's see, what's the chemistry here? Ooh. 
You are my everything, my whole world. Wow. Oh, we have, you are the first millionaire in your family. And that's pay attention to red flags. So are they there for the money or are they there for the love? Maybe you're getting into some type of uh, money or abundance here. It says retreat. Knowledge is key. Pay attention to those around you. And there's that pay attention to the red flags as well. And what they told you is an illusion to get you into bed. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and the bottom, your wishes will come true. Peace and harmony. So things will come true for you. It's just you're going to have to maybe discern a few things here and um, may have to walk away from a couple people before this comes in for you for what you're looking for. So, but Libra, that is what I have for you. And uh, yeah, so please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to give those um, thumbs up for me and uh, you can donate to the channel if you wish to do so. Um, there's PayPal in the description box. And one of these days I will go live. I've got a lot on my plate. I'm trying to set up some membership things for courses that I'm gonna have within there. So I'm, I'm working on that content, so. Hopefully next month we'll see what happens. So, all right guys, take care, stay blessed. We'll see you next time. Later. <laughs>